Okay, so um, this is a video just to explain how a sequencer works on the software for the TD-03. Is it 03? TD-3. Yes, yeah, the Behringer TD-3. I keep forgetting the name. I could just call it a 303, but I'm not going to. Um, so, if you uh, have the Syntribe tool and you're kind of curious about the sequencer software, you're not sure how it works or whatever, this video is for you. So, um, if you check out my other video on uh, the Syntribe tool and how to download it, how to configure your synth using your computer. Um, you can check out that previous video I, I just did as well. Um, but uh, we'll just get cracking into this. Okay, so if you open the Syntribe tool, you can then click on the sequencer option and you get a nice big sequencer window. Okay, now I know this is causing a bit of ruckus, so we're just going to leave that in the center maybe. Um, okay, so just uh, things to kind of take note in this sequencer is the pattern group up here, uh, the pattern selection and pattern one really determines what sequence you are on. So if we want to pull pattern one, pattern selection, uh, pattern, you know, pattern A, pattern one, if we select the recall button, that'll pull that information out of the sequencer and put it into or um, so that that information will come out okay you see the information here okay if I set it to pattern 2 I can see what pattern 2 looks like if I set it to pattern 3 I can see what pattern 3 looks like now on the actual TD03 what it's actually doing is it's playing the one I've selected on the TD3 so I have the switch to um, pattern group 4 and then I'm on A over here so you have a selection between A and B here so if I want B if I want A and then I'm on pattern 1 here so if I want to find that on the tool then I want to go to pattern group 4 and then I want to select A. So I'm on A here. And then I want to see what pattern tree looks like. So I'll select pattern tree. And then I'll recall that. And that's what pattern tree looks like. Pretty cool. Now, I don't really like pattern tree. So I'm just going to get rid of all those notes. Because no. We're just going to look at how this works. Uh, I usually select pattern group 4 because it's kind of like my um, workspace so that I can put in patterns uh, that I want and that I won't overwrite any patterns that I like. So I'm going to make a basic pattern at the moment. So here's a basic pattern. Now, if I press play, it still plays the old pattern. Okay, so it won't update the pattern until I store this pattern, okay? Now you can see that uh, it's now playing this pattern. So if I want to change this pattern, store. So you can see there that you have to keep clicking store. So every time you make a change in this tool, like a change here, or change there, change there, change there, chop, 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 just click store. And then that will store it onto your unit and thus your unit will be able to play the pattern. So you'll notice there's these two long notes down here, um, which basically uh, mean they're slides, okay? so. You can make two different types of notes. Well, you can make it three different types of notes. You can make a normal note. Uh, if you click outside the normal note, you get a long note, which is a slide. And then if you right click a normal note, you will actually get the slide option. So you can turn it into a slide if you want, or you can just throw some accent on it and it goes to a different color, like a, a, a nice orange. So once you have the nice orange, uh, you can uh, start putting that on most of the other ones to kind of get your accent um, patterns out there and give you more acidy sounds. Oh yeah, 
I made a mistake. I forgot to press store. So remember to click store every time if you don't see the difference. There you go. You can see that now. So essentially, once you have that done, um, you can kind of create your own patterns here. Uh, you could follow a, a scale or something like that. And uh, uh, maybe I'll just go up the white keys, let's say. Like this, this, this one, yeah. And this one, no, here, here. And then, yeah, I just copy that. Copy that throughout. Uh, and you can just kind of custom mouse click your patterns, uh, store them onto the unit, and then, you know, move on to the next one. <clears throat> so if I store that, press play. Now there's other cool things you can do. Um, one thing I like to do is uh, set the sequence length, let's say down to five, <clears throat> and you make this like poly polyrhythmic, polyrhythm uh, pattern, which is like this pattern that is not in four four, but when you play it with a drum machine, it kind of evolves the whole time because it's it's constantly changing every time you hear it. That's uh, you'd hear it, you'd hear it kind of how different, how much of a difference it makes if we had a drum machine. And I haven't got mine hooked up during this video, so unfortunately we can't show that. But um, changing the length of the pattern. Oh yeah, I forgot to click store again. So we'll store that one. And you can kind of hear that kind of pulsating. Boom, 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 boom. Add a slide maybe. Store. Slide store. So there you have it, okay? Um, other controls that you might want to kind of look at is you can export the pattern. So if you click export, you should get an export window that pops up. Um, yeah, there we go. There's the export window. So you can kind of export your pattern. You can see it's a sequence.seq file. So you can say pattern one and then just put that in your downloads. So if you export a pattern, um, you can then import it, of course. Um, there's also this option here, dump exports all patterns from the device to a computer. So you can save all your patterns from your um, TD3 to your computer, and you can play swapsies with your friends and see who's got the best pattern pack. And you know, maybe if you, if you want, you could probably sell them or something like that. So. Uh, merging then would allow you to import a dump file. So a dump file is basically a collection of patterns and a merge file will allow you to merge all the patterns from a dump file into your unit. Now it does say that if you do this, it'll erase all the patterns that you have on your unit. So don't go messing with that too much unless you have, always remember to back up your, your patterns by making a dump file and that way you'll have it, have it stored for life. Um, Triplets kind of like, I, I think the triplet option just basically turns it into a 12 count. I'm not really sure. It'll just kind of give it that polyrhythmic uh, mode. Uh, you don't have to have that there. Um, I just like to play around with this and pretty much that's it. So that's everything. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Um, I just had 500 subscribers recently. I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed. Uh, thanks for checking out my videos. Um, I took your advice. I got a new microphone. Hopefully I sound a bit better. Maybe I sound a bit worse. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But um, anyway, um, yeah, thanks for checking me out. I'm going to leave it there. Have a great day.